All right, guys. So uh, a couple days ago, maybe about a week or so, we started noticing a bunch of ants in these uh, hanging baskets on the fence here. Um, so interesting fact that I learned today was if you start seeing ants in your plants, you might have a case of mealybugs. Um, so to go along with these interesting facts, I just did some research on it and I learned a lot of new stuff about mealybugs. First of all, um, the ants. The reason the ants are here is they use the ants as protection, basically, from other predators. The ants, uh, they, they basically, um, they feed off of the mealybugs. And the reason for that is the mealybugs, when they eat the leaves and secrete whatever they eat, um, the ants love it. It's almost like a honeydew. So the ants uh, really enjoy it and they stick around for that stuff. So there's a lot of ways to deal with mealybugs, um, neem oil, um, toxic pesticides or insecticides. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go the natural way, um, the cheapest way we can think of first. And yep, that's a osprey flying around, interrupting the video. But anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and spray this with soap and water. So it's one part soap and three parts water and see if we can deal with these guys. Did you shake the bottle good? Oh, Shake yep. it real good so the soap can. So the thing about soap and water mixtures is it's tedious. You have to continuously do it. Get in there. Um, get really in there inside all the crevices and stuff like that. Uh, so the one thing I did learn was the reason um, we didn't see the mealybugs at first was these things don't need plants to survive. They can hide in crevices. They can hide anywhere without actually feeding off of a plant. They live up to almost seven weeks. Um, and they can actually lay eggs with up to 700 uh offsprings so that's a crazy amount right there that's something i just learned um so we're gonna see what we can do do our best to get rid of this stuff um yep got some on me but um this thing is pretty infested and i'm spray on the other ones too kind of i would spray all the all that. the plants underneath so we're gonna go ahead and just spray everything the other mm -hmm. plants don't have it it's just that that one uh, artisan blue, the floss flower that has it. I At first, I couldn't um, remember which one was, um, which did we mostly uh, lose? Uh, we lost the Super, uh, super Bell's Great Punch. About three? Yeah. Three of them. We lost three of them. And um, ants first, right? Yep. Uh, here comes the rain again, too. Yes. All right, and this is the first one we showed. This one got it the worst. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy how much damage they can do. Um, it's did a, it, eating it, on it. it, literally feeding off of it, right? Yeah, it, it really did a number on this one. So. And that was looking beautiful like a day ago. There was nothing wrong with it. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna probably have to do this again for the next couple of days only because we're forecasted to have rain for the next two weeks which huh, is good because you don't have to water as much, but I have some select few plants that I just hate when the water gets in them and they droop. I'm afraid they're gonna break and you know, specifically the hydrangeas, the blooms are so heavy as it is, they get wet and they just start to droop down. All right, so the mealybugs and the ants. Uh, the ants, believe it or not, they farm mealy, mealybugs. Uh, what they do is they carry them from plants to plants. So if you have a mealybug problem, the best thing to do would also to be spray for ants as well, which is what we're gonna do as well along the fence line here to make sure we kill all those ants. Um, they work hand in hand. Um, the ants basically protect them from predators and that's why they stick around. So get rid of the ants, get rid of the mealybug problem. Uh, just do them both at the same time. For the ants, we will use a toxic uh, insecticide and we'll spray it along the fence. Uh, we usually use ortho and it usually does a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. um, but again, uh, get rid of both problems like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do every single basket just, just to be um, sure. But um, we're gonna and go ahead and let y'all go. We just thought that we let y'all know what's going on in our garden. It's been so hard to let y'all know what's going on with everything else. It's just been non-stop raining. I've been putting
putting out pictures on Instagram almost daily. And um, go ahead and check out. What I do little things here and there and been posting. Um, not much I can be doing out here. And I know I had uh, promised to do, um, do an update on the bird bath. Um, I'm still working on that. And I promise I'll be bringing it up soon. I'm very excited for that. So just um, go ahead and... Um, Subscribe if y'all haven't yet or go ahead and like. Alright guys, see y'all later.